Hello, now let's make our website in Glitch. So as you see, you're going to first go to Glitch. And in Glitch, you're going to have to sign in. And you're going to create an account. And you're going to use your Google account. I already have one. So I'm going to go to my Google. And pick the account I want to use. Then you're going to open up the STEM Maker template. Starts with the README page, has the files in it. Now this is my copy, so you go to the drop down and remix the project, and that's going to make a copy for you. Comes up with a crazy name, so now you want to name it what makes sense, but don't use personal information. Now, after I do that, I can come back here and I'm going to make this private. This way, no one can see it, um, and it's just for me to see. Now, what I am going to ask you to do is share this project just with me. We can make it live later if you have permission from your parents. Then, if you go here, invite others to edit, you're going to copy that code. Now, when you go back, you created your private. If you go to the next slide, you share it and invite others to edit and you paste this here and you're going to eventually share that with me. Then you're going to close get glitch. So if I go back to my glitch, I'm going to close it and I'm going to open it again to show you how you find your website. And then you should see, oh, here is the one I just created and I can go to the website. You're going to focus on index.html. You can show your screen over on the other side. Yes, ugly colors, so you want to change them. And you can find, oh, where is the heading? There's my logo. I scroll, oh, welcome to my Maker website. And you can go in and you can change whatever heading you want and you'll see it shows up over here. Now you see that red, that means I have an error. So I'm going to fix the error. Don't worry if you get red errors, I get them all the time. So you can change the content that is in the tags to change how this looks. Then you can go to your style sheet. Oops, that was my script your style sheet, and you can start changing the colors. And you could use the hex code colors to start deciding what you want to make for yours. I'm just going to change by words right now and see how that is very hard to read when I use that. Undo, Control Z, puts it back to what it was.